Using ice to treat minor muscle sprains and reduce swelling is really nothing new, but doctors have discovered that using a cooling therapy called Arctic Sun has helped in the recovery for some cardiac arrest patients. Joining me now is Dr. Joanne Cosgriff, the Director of Intensive Care, specializing in pulmonary and critical care at Waterbury Hospital. Welcome, Dr. Cosgriff. It's Thank great you. to have you. Thank for you. For people who do not know what the ICU is, would you explain what you, what you do? It is the Intensive Care Unit. Yeah. Sure. The Intensive Care Unit um, takes care of patients both medical with both medical problems and surgical problems who have life-threatening illnesses. Some of the things that we take care of are patients who have really bad pneumonias who have to be on a ventilator or a breathing machine, or patients who've had a very complicated surgery and might have to have prolonged recovery in the intensive care unit and very close monitoring. So this is a, the, a department is very critical in the hospital. I mean, right. many of the, obviously all the departments in the hospital are very critical, but this one especially, so. Especially, it takes care of the, the sickest patients in the hospital, and we really try to do everything we can to get them better in, from a, their very sickest time. Because you get patients from all over, really. You're, I mean, you're dealing with all kinds all of All different kinds of patients, right. We have a, a medical and a surgical services that take care of patients there. So anyone in the hospital who is at their sickest will come to us. Let's talk about this new method that, what, had just started recently at Waterbury Hospital? We've had it since about mid-May at Waterbury Hospital. It's very exciting for us. We're all very excited about it. Um, and it's called? It's called, it's a therapeutic hypothermia and the device that we're using is the Arctic Sun device. Um, and therapeutic hypothermia means that when somebody is, has gone through a cardiac arrest, we use this device to make their temperature lower and that helps improve their neurologic outcome. So what made you decide to, to have this technology brought into the hospital? Well, it's been, you know, we've been thinking about it for many years. It's been a, a guideline recommendation from the American Heart Association since about 2005 um, in terms of treatment of patients who've had a cardiac arrest. And so we felt it was really important to be able to offer our patients the best care that we can who've had a cardiac arrest. And so what's the thought behind this technology? Well, it's fairly complicated. The, the original idea many years ago, even back in the 1950s, was that cooling patients down brings their metabolism down. And so after you've had a cardiac arrest, you're sort of letting the body recover. Um, and that is definitely one of the big reasons that it works. There are many other factors, though, that we've discovered in the last many years. Um, after somebody has a cardiac arrest, they have low blood flow, and after that happens, you have inflammation and the recovery process can cause more damage to the brain. And so the idea is if we cool them down, that some of those processes are are less problematic. And isn't there a procedure right now that most cardiac cardiologists are already using now to help patients recover from heart attacks? Sure, well, the, well already does that. The like angioplasties and those kinds of things that yes. you are protecting the actual heart muscle. This this device um, cools the whole body down to really protect the brain. And so let's take a look at this. Sure. And this is called the Arctic Sun. The the device that we're using at Waterbury is the Arctic Sun device. Um, and there's a machine that's at the bedside that we mm -hmm. couldn't bring here. It's about 800 pounds, oh, and it has massive. to be there. It has to be there for a patient to use if they come in today. Um, these pads are what we place on the patient, and you can see this is the water flows through here. So this is hooked up to the machine like okay. this, and then the machine keeps the water flowing through and cold. How would you put this on the patient? Let's stand and the, up and show The way everybody. this goes is the patient, you put it on the patient like this, and you put one on this side, one on this side, mm -hmm. and one on each of the legs. Okay. And then, and that's it. And then the, so the rest of the patient is open, and so family members can hold patient's hands, we can put them on the ventilator with the breathing machine, and then the water, this is hooked up to this machine, and the water just keeps flowing in to keep it cold. Now, what will the patient feel? So the patient doesn't feel anything, and the, the reason is that we actually paralyze them so that they, their muscles can't move and sedate them and give them pain medicine so they, they are not aware of anything that's happening. Now, how long does the patient have to have something like this on them? Well, this, we leave this on, it leave, gets left on for about two days, but the actual time that they're cold is about 24 hours and then we warm them up over the next 48 hours. And so the benefit of this for the patient is that uh, recovery is quicker? The, the benefit really is to improve their outcome in terms of their neurologic status, like their, their thinking ability. So the, in the studies that have been done, the patients who received this did better in terms of how they thought afterwards and were able to go home 
um, as opposed to having significant neurologic defects. So the outcome is really much, much better much than better. if you had yep. didn't have something like Correct. this. Correct. Yes. Well, how do you determine who's going to get one, get this versus not getting it? The, the patients who um, qualify for this in our hospital currently are patients who've had a cardiac arrest mm -hmm. um, that is related to a, a funny rhythm of the heart, a ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. And those patients who have They've had that arrest, and then they've re we've treated them with CPR and brought them back, restarted their heart. And if they're still unconscious, then we use this device. Um, and there are, there are lots of things out, lots of research going on out there about other uses of it in patients who've had a stroke or spinal cord injury. So I, that, I feel confident that's going to be coming down the pike in the next couple of years. So hopefully we'll see a wider application yep. of this technology. Absolutely. And you've already been able to use this on some patients. We and have. Can you t share a story with us? Sure. We had a wonderful outcome a couple of weeks ago when a patient who had had a cardiac arrest outside of the hospital was resuscitated um, outside of the hospital, came into us. We, we utilized this, um, and the patient actually was able to go home and is doing great. So you're fairly confident that this is really a great technology for patients. Absolutely. It's really important to have in, in your intensive care unit to be able to offer people, people this. Any risk involved with this at all? There are, there are risks involved with it that our team at Waterbury has been very careful to come up with a very detailed protocol to watch for all of the things that are concerning. Because when you do make somebody cold, there are certainly things that can be affected. Um, such as? Such as sometimes it can make your immune system a little bit weaker, and so we're very careful about making sure patients don't get infections. It can make your, your blood system clot a little bit mm -hmm. more likely, and so we'll watch that very closely. So there, this, these patients are monitored extremely closely, one nurse to one patient the whole time that they're on this protocol. So there's someone at the bedside all the time watching them. So this is a protocol that really is going to benefit the patient and, of course, help you with your work as well. Absolutely. It's really exciting to be able to offer this to patients because there, there really are very few things to offer to, make, to help their outcome better in someone who's had a cardiac arrest other than the CPR that we do. All right, and so for more information about the Arctic Sun technology, all you have to do is uh, visit waterburyhospital.org or call this number, 203-573-6000. Thank you so much, Dr. Cosgrove. For, Thank you for, for having me. Is there anything we missed? At, I don't we think get everything so. here? I don't think so. It's very exciting. We're happy to have it. Excellent.